Moving average channel is a trading tool that consists of two moving averages plotted above and below the price chart. These moving averages form a channel that visually represents the range within which the price is expected to fluctuate. The distance between the moving averages determines the width of the channel. Calculation, moving average channel is calculated by plotting two moving averages on a price chart. Typically, a longer term moving average, e.g., 50 period, and a shorter term moving average, e.g., 20 period, are used. The longer term moving average represents the centerline of the channel, while the shorter term moving average defines the width of the channel. Purpose The purpose of moving average channel in stock market analysis is to identify potential support and resistance levels, as well as to visualize the current trend and its volatility. It helps traders gauge the price's potential range of movement and assists in making trading decisions based on the interaction between the price and the channel boundaries. Interpretation in relation to other tools, moving average channel is interpreted similarly to other trend following indicators, such as Bollinger Bands or Keltner channels. It helps traders identify trend direction, momentum, and potential reversal points. Additionally, it can be used in conjunction with other technical indicators like MACD, RSI, or volume indicators to confirm trading signals. Time frame, moving average channel can be used across various time frames, depending on the trader's trading style and objectives. It is effective on both shorter and longer time frames, but the interpretation may vary. Shorter time frames may provide more frequent trading opportunities, while longer time frames may offer more significant trend signals. Usefulness in trading decisions, trend identification, moving average channel helps traders identify the direction of the trend by observing the slope and position of the channel. Volatility assessment, the width of the channel indicates the level of volatility in the market. Narrow channels suggest low volatility, while widening channels indicate increasing volatility. Support and resistance, the upper and lower boundaries of the channel serve as dynamic support and resistance levels, where price reversals or breakouts may occur. Use with other technical indicators, moving average channel can be used in conjunction with other technical indicators to confirm trading signals. For example, a bounce off the lower boundary of the channel combined with bullish divergence on the RSI could signal a potential long entry. Limitations and drawbacks, whipsaws, like other trend following indicators, moving average channel may produce false signals during ranging or choppy market conditions, resulting in whipsaws. Lagging nature, moving averages, by nature, lag behind the current price, which may result in delayed signals, especially during fast moving markets. Dependence on market conditions, moving average channels effectiveness may vary depending on the prevailing market conditions, and it may not perform well in all market environments. Basic trading strategy, a basic trading strategy using moving average channel may involve trend following, buy when the price bounces off the lower boundary of the channel in an uptrend and sell when it touches the upper boundary in a downtrend. Breakout trading, look for breakouts above or below the channel boundaries as potential entry signals, especially when accompanied by high volume or other confirming indicators. Volatility trading, monitor changes in the width of the channel to gauge volatility levels and adjust position sizing or risk management accordingly. Incorporation into trading approach, traders can incorporate moving average channel into their trading approach by setting up the indicator on their trading platform and adjusting the parameters, e.g., moving average periods based on their preferences and the market's characteristics. Using moving average channel alongside other technical indicators and price action analysis to increase the reliability of trading signals. Practicing risk management techniques to mitigate potential losses, such as placing stop-loss orders outside the channel boundaries and adjusting position sizes based on volatility levels.